is Ralph Irvin at the Rose Bowl, where Friday night UCLA was a 41-31 winner over Washington. After the defense forced a Washington fumble, the Bruins hit the end zone on a Miles Jack eight-yard run. It was just, I don't know, it was a clutter, and I just really got behind Jordan Zumwa, and he just really cleared the way and pushed me through and got in the end zone. Another Husky turnover set up the Bruins to score once again, this time on a Brett Hundley pass to Cassius Marsh. That's a great package, you know, and, uh, you know, we, we, we're we averaging, I think, like six or seven, seven yards in that package. So, you know, we just need to keep that going. UCLA scored their third first quarter touchdown when Jack pounded in from a yard out. It was just really a clutter, and I just, I got a push from the O-line and just kind of put my head down and got the yard that we needed to score. It's pretty sweet. It's pretty nice to have that. Uh, just when, you know, when it's third and three, third and two, anything short distance, just to be able to give him the ball and let him do his thing and uh, get the first down to keep the chains moving. The Bruins made it 27-7 when Jack again scored from a yard out. You know, that was kind of the hard fight. You know, the toughest run I had of the night. That was that was kind of my favorite one because they knocked off my helmet and everything. So I like that one, yeah. In the third, Miles scored his fourth touchdown, making it 34-24. We always try and get ourselves into like third and manageable, you know, so uh, it's really imperative for the coaching staff to be trusting in us to make sure that we can get those third and shorts and those second and shorts, especially in the goal line. After the defense held Washington on a fourth down attempt, Hundley hit Devin Lucian, who broke free for his first UCLA touchdown. You know, just to be able to get, get the ball in his hands, he's a big playmaker, and uh, you know that was a side adjustment, corner cat read, uh, so they brought the pressure. We, I got the ball out to him, and uh, he did the right thing and made the, uh, made the touchdown. Defensively, the Bruins were stout, forcing the two early turnovers and four overall and allowing a mere 102 yards rushing. That was the game plan. We wanted to uh, stuff the run. Um, I felt like we everybody you know did their job, had assignment football, and that was a game plan. That's what we did. That's what we wanted to do. I didn't I didn't know that we stuffed it that well. I mean, I thought we stuffed it pretty well, but I guess the numbers um, showed a little differently that we did a good job. You know, it's a it's a team effort. Uh, the whole defense, everybody stayed in their gaps, uh, made plays on the run. Um, you know, he broke a couple of tackles, but we were swarming to the ball, and um, you know, everybody worked hard. So hard work pays off. We really emphasized on trying to slow down the run game with Bishop and everything, and. I guess tonight with 102 yards, that's a win for us on defense. You know, just putting the offense in good field position, allowing them to score, and yeah, defense, you know. <laughs> we, we definitely got after the, uh, the passer today, a couple holding calls for, for guys. You know, uh, A.B. had a sack, uh, sack or two, I think. But, you know, everybody played well. Uh, Ellis got one. It was just one of those good games for the defensive line and the guys pass rushing. The coaches drew up great blitzes to get everybody home. You know, um, we had a good game plan going in. You know, everybody did their job, things like that, and um, we were able to get good pressure, yeah. Once again, UCLA a 41-31 winner over Washington. The Bruins are back in action next Saturday when they host Arizona State in the home finale. And, of course, the best news and notes on UCLA football. You get them all right here at UCLABruins.com.